Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, and welcome to Command Power, the show in which we discuss all things Magic the Gathering with a focus on Commander. And today we have another episode in our Spoiler Spotlight series in which I talk about, well, spoilers and tell you what my thoughts are on them. But before that, just a quick reminder to click subscribe if you enjoy my videos. We're well on our way to a million subscribers and your support means everything to me. And today we're going to be talking about Leyline of Transformation. For two colorless and two blue, it's an enchantment with, if Leyline of Transformation is in your opening hand, you may begin the game with it on the battlefield. As Leyland of Transformation enters, choose a creature type. Creatures you control are the chosen type in addition to their other types. The same is true for creature spells you control and creature cards you own that aren't on the battlefield. Wow, this is a really cool design for a ley line, and I'm pretty impressed by how well this strikes a balance between power and fun. So we've had some very good ley lines in the past. Part of the problem with the ley lines has always been that they can be a bit feast or famine. So for example, ley line of anticipation, which is probably one of the best ley lines in Commander, is incredibly broken if you have it in your opening hand, but it's just okay if you draw it later on in the game. Starting with Leyland of Anticipation in play basically means that you get to play your entire game plan at instant speed. You can play super reactively to anything your opponents are doing because you can just play your stuff whenever you want to. That's a huge advantage and the games where you have it compared to the games where you don't are completely different and play out in very different ways. So whilst the card is very good, I don't really feel like it's a very good design for a Leyland because there's just so much variance there. On another aside, the black Leyland has been reprinted again as Leyland of the Void and I think it's the third or fourth time already that we basically haven't got a new black ley line but we've got another new one for each color so I definitely think black is deserving a little bit of love in this aspect but anyway back to ley line of transformation this is a very desirable effect that this card has turning all the stuff in your deck into a specific creature type is something that a lot of decks are interested in particularly tribal decks although those tend to already be running mostly creatures of that type but also just wacky decks are going to be interested in this too decks that want to build around something different or unique or that want to give an extra creature type to their creatures just to get some shenanigans going I talked a while ago about Amaro Brass Unsinkable and how you could build her as a general reanimation package if you just included a cards like these that turn everything into pirates. So this is a great new addition to that strategy, for example. It allows you to do very silly things, but it's also balanced because the games where you don't have it, if your deck isn't built correctly, your deck just isn't going to function that well. So you can't entirely build around these effects without compromising some consistency, but now there's more and more of these effects, which means that you're getting a little bit more consistency, which means that those wacky niche decks can have a little bit more time to shine. That's definitely a good thing if you ask me, but how does this compare to similar cards that do the same thing? Well, in general, I think this is quite a bit worse than Maskwood Nexus, because Maskwood Nexus gave everything all creature types, which is obviously an upgrade, even though it's probably not going to matter that much most of the time. But it also was colorless and then also allowed you to make tokens, so there's a few advantages to it. The only advantage that this has over that card is that it can come in for free if you have it in your opening hand. I do want to mention three cards that this card is very good with, and they're all cards that I like a lot, so I'm happy that they're getting more support. Multi and Echoes, Reflections of Lijara and Kindred Discovery all benefit massively from this card because you can basically then chuck them in any deck with normal creatures and you're going to get to double up your creatures and draw a bunch of cards. That's really sweet and there's now enough effects of this kind in Commander that you could actually build a deck based around that theme and just have a weird off tribal deck with all sorts of different tribes and maybe a Commander such as Tazri that cares about having all those different creature types. In any case it's a really cool card. It's definitely a casual card although it matches some play in more niche combo decks potentially in some format but I'm definitely happy that they're moving towards less feast or famine designs for ley lines. So there you have it. Those have been my thoughts on this new spoiler. What do you think though? Do you disagree with me or do you think I got it right? Let me know in the comment section below. I always make sure to read all of your comments. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click like or subscribe. It really helps the channel. And until next time, take care.